Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at DNS Override available for the iPhone and the iPad. I'm going to go and open up DNS Override and it's going to bring me into the main menu where I can select from a bunch of different DNS configurations. Now what really sets DNS Override apart is that these configurations work on both Wi-Fi and cellular connections. Now one of the most common uses for DNS is actually preventing and filtering out malware, phishing, scam, and adult content. So for example, this open DNS family shield, if I tap in there, I can see the DNS service it's gonna to connect to. I can do a DNS override, which if I unlock that feature with an in-app purchase, will automatically configure the DNS service on my cellular or Wi-Fi connection. But if I wanted to, if I were to tap show instructions, this will show me how to manually configure the DNS servers for my actual Wi-Fi connection. Now doing it this way will not provide the DNS support for cellular connections. This will just do it for the Wi-Fi network that you happen to set this up on. So every Wi-Fi network you connect to will need to be configured in this manual operation. But if you were to unlock the feature up at the top of the screen, that will go ahead and do it automatically for you on both Wi-Fi and cellular connections. And down below you can see the features of this one. This open DNS family shield is going to filter out malware, scam, phishing, adult content. It'll provide a faster internet and you can see all the benefits down below. Now if you've set up your DNS, what you can actually do is tap test DNS connection. It's going to open up a Safari web page and see if you have open DNS is successfully enabled. And being that we've enabled this profile, we actually do. So I can see that all my DNS options for this family shield are going to be inputted and in place for me. So if my child were to begin browsing the web on this actual iPhone here, adult content, phishing, scam, and malware would be filtered out from any one of the websites they tried to visit. Now another great feature of DNS override is the smart DNS options. So coming out to the main menu and going all the way down to the bottom, I can tap on smart DNS. What this will do is it will allow me to unlock almost all media websites and applications that are blocked outside the US. And so I can see websites such as Hulu, Netflix, BBC, any of those that are not available in a specific country. If I were to enable Smarty DNS, it'll actually give me the usage of those applications, tricking those apps and websites into thinking that I'm in a country that they are supported by. Now, if I were to unlock those features again, I can have it automatically be done for me. But if I wanted to, I can show instructions on how to do a manual DNS setup. So that way I can use these IP address DNS servers up at the top to manually do so. Or I can go ahead and sign in with Smarty DNS and update my current IP address with them. And down below, I see all the features. I can view my offers, terms of service, and then my test my DNS configuration. Now some of these profiles are going to have specific settings. You can see here in my Smarty DNS, if I tap the settings in the top right hand corner, I can enter in my API key. This is something that I'm going to have to do with Smarty DNS because this is a service that is provided by them that I can actually have DNS override enable automatically. So I can go ahead and sign up with them and enter my key in there. So some of these profiles will have different settings that you can input up here in the screen. And back at the main menu, if I tap edit in the top right hand corner, I can actually tap on any one of these DNS options and edit any of my lists. What's also great about DNS override is that I can add in my own DNS profiles. So if I tap add a profile, I can give it my name and set up my own DNS servers and even add in as many DNS servers as I would like to. You can notice that currently it does not support IPv6, so all my servers are going to need to be IPv4 compliant. So once I've added in all those profiles, it'll show up out here in my main screen and I can have that DNS automatically be overwritten and inputted on both my cellular and Wi-Fi connections, which is great options if you are going to take advantage of this and actually set it up yourself. But don't worry, there are plenty of popular DNS profiles down below that you can go through and read and configure yourself and get these things going so that way you're not getting all these unwanted services, websites, or anything that's going to try and scam you on your device. So once again, this application is called DNS Override. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.